hey 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 welcome to my channel my name is paula and on this platform we discuss about designer fashion luxury and lifestyle but in a more practical and sensible way every monday and thursday in today's video let's have a look at my saint laurent collection both current and previous and the prices that i have originally paid or what they have been um what they have been selling at the time of purchase and then let's have a quick review of the 2022 spring and summer prices after the Saint Laurent re most recent price increase. Let's see what has happened because I gotta say when I was counting the percentages of how much certain items have gone up in price, yowza, it's, it's quite a lot. So let's just go right in. I thought we could start with my current Saint Laurent items, right? Let's go with the smallest. So this is my small envelope wallet. I got this as a birthday present uh, in last summer, so summer 2021. And even though this was a present, I do know what this cost back then. <laughs> so around a year ago, in June 2021, this was 295 euros. And now, after the price increase of 2022, this is now 315 euros. And that means that this has gone up 7% in a year, approximately. I can't really blame them. Like, if I really look, look at this uh, wallet, this is um, leather with gold hardware and then oh i have some cards cards in here um but this is what it looks like from the inside it has four separate card slots on the sides and then a big open compartment as well as a back pocket over there and comparing this type of compact card wallet um, to other brands the 315 in comparison is not that much um but but still i think in slgs it's kind of easier to be okay with price increases because the price point is lower anyway but like seven percent in one year that's that's quite quite a price increase but this is by far not the most that has gone up and you will soon see which one has gone up like crazy. Um, but I would still say with 315 euros, it's still worth it. Um, and especially with Saint Laurent, I think at least Farfetch provides uh, the discount codes that work on Saint Laurent. So then it would be back to the price that it was last summer anyway. Secondly, let's talk about the monogram clutch this probably is the hero of my channel <laughs> like all the videos i've made of this uh seem to be quite popular and i can't blame you like this is amazing it is basically a wristlet but i use it as a crossbody bag uh 100 of the time so i attach a chain system here and then wear it but i got this last spring so probably like march 2021 uh the price point was then 545 euros where i actually did get a 20 percent discount from matches fashion at that time so i ended up paying 445 euros or or something like that 450 ish and like I was very surprised, but after the most recent price increase, this is still 545 euros. So the increase was 0%. It didn't go up in price. Um, and that must mean that this is not like overly hyped or overly popular then or something. Um, but just so that you know, this has still an amazing price point and I would most definitely recommend it. And yes, I would buy it again with the same price that I was willing to buy it last year. Um, but yeah, and by the way, I will link all the videos I have made of all of these items that I'm gonna be talking about here if I have any videos 
but especially from this one there is a few so if you want to know more then go ahead and look at the description box down below the videos will be there but um i was surprised like same price that last year a third bag in my current collection is the saint laurent lou camera bag unfortunately i don't currently have it in my possession because um there has been some quality issues with the bag uh, and it is now with saint laurent in italy so um I will link the two videos I have made of that whole story if you are interested to know what has happened with the quality wise or what type of issues I have had and what's happening with that. So part one and two will be linked down below and part three is coming once I actually have something to update. But anyway, so I bought this bag pre-owned but it came with the receipt and it was purchased in June 2021 with the price of 1050 euros and now this spring the price went up to 1250 euros so the price increase there was 19 percent wowza okay um before my issues <laughs> with that bag i probably would have said that the the current price of 1250 is still a reasonable price for a leather camera bag. It has a pretty good, decent size and all. Uh, but after my issues, which I think are mainly related to how the strap is structured in the bag, I don't, I mean, I would not repurchase it if I would know what I know now. So I guess in my opinion it is not worth the 1250 euros but I mean I bought it pre-owned with an amazing price point of I think 700 or something 700 euros ish I think it started with the 6 but anyway like 700 euros approximately um and now it's 1000 250 so i mean there is a big gap of i got an amazing deal of that bag but yeah i don't know if you're up for a camera bag maybe do your research and if you still end up with this bag then that's great but at least yeah look at the options and then make your decision that's what i'm gonna say about that one then the next four items i want to talk with you about are Saint Laurent items that I have owned but I have then sold or that I have parted with. Um, I just, I took the most, let's say, popular ones that I have owned to talk in this video um, and I'm pretty sure that popularity has something to do with some of the price increases that has been happening with some of these items. But let's start once again with the smallest one. So in 2018, I purchased the Saint Laurent card case or card holder. Um, in this kind of, it, it was in this shade of pink, but it had silver hardware. I couldn't find a photo of that from Saint Laurent's website right now, but it basically was this with silver hardware. And in 2018, this card holder cost 175 euros whereas in now four years later it is 225 euros so there has been a 29 percent increase in the price so almost 30 percent increase from 2018 to 2022 in four years i think that quite that's quite a lot but in hindsight, I think the price in 2018 was actually very good. Even then, when we were looking at leather card holders, uh, and this one had five slots and it could fit a lot. So I would say that at, at that time, four years ago, it was super well priced. And then now with 225 euros, I think that it's a competitive price it's in the same level as everyone else and it might even still be 
within a better price point than some uh, brands have their card holders. So with this one, if you like it, I think it would still be worth it. Um, but but yeah, it's still almost a 30% increase in price. That's, that's quite a good one in four years. In 2020, I purchased the Uptown Pouch um, as kind of like a birthday present thingy for myself or around that time anyway. Um, and then it was 395 euros. And in two years, the price has gone up to 450 euros. So there has been an increase of 14%. I think this is kind of a, a yes and no, is it worth this type of, of item? If you are a clutch person, and surely you have a very, very flat items, I would say this is worth it because the price point is amazing uh, for a clutch. And I mean, yeah, it's very, very thin. Uh, so I could fit in like a phone card holder and my keys, maybe a lipstick. I do actually have videos of this one on my channel. So I will most definitely link them here because uh, I do go quite in depth of what I could fit fit in that one. I also have a comparison between the Uptown Pouch and the Monogram Clutch, if that's something that you would be wondering which one would be better. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously I sold it for a reason. I would invite again because I find this one so much better. Um, and now it's only a hundred euros price difference. So if, mm, kind of saying that if you are in for a clutch, I would go with this one. Uh, by far, I mean, yes, clearly I sold it and I kept this one and I love it. I think this is more practical and now the price is closer. <laughs> so I would definitely go with this one. Um, but that's obviously it's up to your own preference what you prefer. Um, but for me, I would much rather than give in a hundred euros more and get this one instead. In 2019, I got myself a mini look camera bag from Saint Laurent and it was this beautiful beige with gold hardware. It's, it is super beautiful still, I just hated the tassel and that's not removable. And that was the issue I had with the bag. But in 2019, I, it was sold with the price of 895 euros. And at that time, I actually did have a 10% discount code. So I paid around 800 euros for this bag. And now, three years later, the price is 1,150 euros. And it has gone up 28%. Um, this must be to, due to some popularity thing because I remember when that bag came out and I think it was in some late 2018, early 2019 or something. I remember it when it came and the price point I felt was amazing for a leather bag. It's also leather lined from the inside if I remember correctly. Um, and it was just amazing. It fits all that needed <laughs> uh, I would say for for my liking at least um, and it's it's very beautiful I just the, the tassel is way too big for the proportions of the bag and I just I didn't like the tassel I thought I would get along with it but I didn't um, so that's the reason why I sold it but I mean with 1150 euros I don't know if I would go with this one, to be honest, with that price point. I would probably look for something else. Um, and like putting in an extra hundred, you would get the full camera bag, which is bigger, like clearly bigger, even though I just said that I have issues with it. But just like thinking of the price point there, I don't think I would go back to this one, but that's also a thing that I have with the tassel. Finally, the fourth bag uh, or fourth item that I used to own and I don't anymore is the Toy Lulu bag, which I got in 2018. 
and at that time the price was 945 euros are you ready in the year 2022 the price is 1390 euros so this bag has gone up in price in four years with 47 percent wowza that is a lot of money um and i think this must be because of the popularity i i can't come up with anything else um it's just i couldn't really believe when i was doing my math uh, that there truly has been increase after increase with this bag but for instance comparing the toy lulu to the mini lu camera bag i would absolutely go with the toy lulu uh, it looks, I think, a lot smaller than what it fits inside. Um, and I mean, it's, it's a cute bag. Um, so if, if you are looking for like a small bag uh, from Saint Laurent, preferably I would go with Toy Lulu. But yet again, it's almost 1,400 euros. And with that money, there probably could be many other bags, not necessarily from Saint Laurent, but from like other brands that could also go within that price point and size so then I would look around but that might be because I got it with um with a 10% discount at that time as well so I paid less than 900 euros for it so from 900 to 1400 500 euros in between that for me personally is a lot um and that might be why I would not go there anymore um, and obviously wouldn't because I haven't bought it and, and all of that. But um, that's so much money already that I would probably look into something else. But like quality wise, I had no issues with that. Uh, the leather was very like plush uh, and soft. So if that's the style, then yes, I think it's a great bag. But the price point today is is quite something. So I kind of feel like there would be also other options. That was it. That was a small review of my current and former Saint Laurent collection of items that I own or have owned and what has happened to their prices. What do you think? Was there some shocking items in this that you felt that, oh, I wasn't expected that, expecting that? Or is there an item that you feel could actually be worth more that could cost more let's continue in the comments down below thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye